Hello! Uh, don't worry, you won't have to look at my ugly mug too much in this video because it's mostly going to be about an iPhone app. Well, back in the um, late 70s, early 80s, uh, the first um, synthesizer samplers, sampling keyboards came about and one of the earliest of these came from an Australian company called Fairlight and they created something called the Fairlight CMI and on my laptop here I've got a photograph of uh, that's what it looked like back in 19, circa about 1978-79 down here there's some huge I think there were three five and a quarter inch disk drives but they may even have been eight inch disk drives and recently uh, due to the interest in retro synthesizers uh, Fairlight are checking on their website this morning and they've actually re-released that now with um, uh, it's either a hard drive or a 3.5 inch drive it may well be a hard drive now and presumably USB connections for you to put your little flash drives in and everything and there's, there's still demand for even these old style bits of equipment because well they got it right they got it right back in the early 80s they, they did come up with a lot of good ideas and anyway all of that sort of thing developed and these days instead of having a whole desk of equipment you can download a program for well I've got a demo version on here but if I was to buy it it'd be just over a hundred pounds and this would be the modern equivalent it's something called and this isn't even remotely as capable as uh, a Fairlight but it gives you an idea what you can do on cheaper equipment these days uh, it's called vSampler 3 and um, I've got in here at the moment some clips from the Karen Galan interview that she gave for Ooh, just plug my iPhone into the laptop uh, that she gave for Craig Ferguson so um and I've been mucking around with them and editing them so you can go my 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 mum's a massive Dalek my my my, my mum's a massive Dalek and various other things very silly very funny kept me very amused when I discovered you could do that with audacity anyway so that that's where things are now but let's go back in time and uh explore what you can do with a Fairlight because now they have shrunk the whole of that desk that I showed you earlier down to the size of an iPhone or an iPod Touch or an iPad and you can load up this app which makes some wonderful sounds and things up. They actually did a competition on the website to have someone compose that piece of music and you can turn this on and if you have the the voltage settings set wrong it actually says do you want the thing to burn and it all boots up exactly how an actual Fairlight would boot up back in the early 80s and there you are, so you've got various options here and um, slightly fiddly camera in one hand iPhone and the other, so we'll put that down and I'm going to select disk control and you can select the default voices and there's all of these and you can click on all voices and this is only the cheaper version of the app, this, is, well, this was about 5 99 uh, there's a £20 version that has got every single sample that you could run on a Fairlight that came on the these five and a quarter inch discs and there's 500 of them it's absolutely amazing the huge amounts of things you could do with it and I'm trying to find some things to show you now yeah over on uh, the human samples list here there's something called do and you can hit play and well if I select that sample it will load up from a virtual version of a drive and you can play it up and down on this little keyboard and you can push the octave down 
do, do, do. right down really low so just whales can hear it and there's a whole other selection of um, human samples here you can have um, bar let's push it up again There's lots of fun there. I'll try and find. Yeah, here we are. These are the orchestral samples. If I select Orc 2 here. Now, this sample will be very familiar to you if, like me, you're a fan of early 80s music or you grew up in the early 80s uh, when the Art of Noise were around. Because all I have to do is hit this key. Well, particularly if I have it in the right octave. That's it. It's very famous sample, so you can and push it way up here. And the, the samples are a little bit fuzzy because they're so, sort of done on a um eight bit recording system. But there's um there's even on this version there's just loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of them. Cymbals, drums, um there's a selection of animal noises. So um Well uh you might want to play music with a pig, for example. fun there. What other animals can we find? There's a cow. There's a, a wild boar that I found earlier when I was having a bit of a look through here. A lot of fun, the wild boar. Now this is a good one to show you the editing function with. You can go into edit here, and if you think, well, I don't like this gap that there is before the sample starts playing, you can just put your finger here, and go, ah, well, the, the, that bit's there, and you say, oh, well, I don't like this other gap at the end. You can go all the way, and you have real-time preview on it, and you can hit done. Go back to keyboard. And that will play from the moment that squeak starts. And if you think, oh well I've still not got that edit right, you can, you can go back to keyboard again. You can't really save any of these changes very easily. It just sort of remembers where you are on this version. But, uh, There's a multi dog here, a whole pack of dogs. And of course, if you wanted it to sound more like a synthesizer, you can pick a group of samples here of analog synthesizers. So here's a sort of bassy one. And there's loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of these. Uh, what have we got here? Synth 5. Yes. It's really 1980s, really. Uh, what have you got? Some brass instruments here. Sounds quite fun, a horn. Uh, 
And it is polyphonic, so if I carefully... ...can play whole chords on it. I'm trying to think where to finish with it. Oh, there's a demo here. It's all these... Various sound effects. Oh, that's a well known one from the um, early 80s. Lots of fun there with voices. There's, um, Drip one sounds promising. So there you are, I've been rabbiting on for about 11 minutes now, so you get the general idea, and it's amazing what you can do with these just small bits of equipment now. Um, so, well, I'm planning to get an iPad later this year, so that's definitely one to have on the iPad.